Uh, hi, my name is Steve Parks. I'm the editor of the Studies in Writing and Rhetoric series. Um, and my goal in this video is to talk about when you should contact an editor. Um, I think it probably varies a little bit from press to press, but I think one of my goals as editor is to sort of take away the anxiety of writing a book. And one way to do that is to sort of imagine working with an editor as a very sort of dialogic conversation-based process. So I would say you should feel free to contact me as soon as you think you have sort of a solid book idea, but that you haven't finished the proposal yet. Um, I think a short email saying, this is what I'm thinking about, would this mesh with the series, lets us begin a conversation on how the goals of the series mesh with your goals as a writer. And one of the things I tell particularly new authors writing their first book is that you have to really sort of make sure that your vision for the book stays central through the process, that you can't let sort of the desire or need to be published shift what you want to do as a writer and what you want to say to the field. And so in some ways, I think when you write a short sort of email to a series editor, what you're doing is giving them a chance before you dig deep down into the proposal to tell you what they would need you to do to fit into their series. And then you can decide whether that's something you want to do as a writer or whether you want to shift to a different series or a different editor. I also think that when you write an editor, you can gauge when they write back and how they write back, what it will mean to work with that series. Um, every series, every editor has their own working style. Um, and so it's important that that working style meshes with your style as a writer. Otherwise, I think writing a book can be sort of anxiety producing and you won't get the sort of the actual joy of seeing your ideas be developed that you should when you write a book. So I think, you know, write me as soon as you think you have a solid book idea. Um, I also think that you should imagine when you work with SWR that that won't be the only contact with the editor. Um, I'll write back for sure. Um, I'll either write back comments or I'll offer to Skype or FaceTime with you and have a conversation. Um, and as we chat, we can think about how your project in this series intersect so that you might draft a proposal, I'm happy to read it, send you comments, and to imagine this stage is us really seeing if it's a good mesh. If it's not a good mesh, I'm absolutely happy to see you go elsewhere because it's your book and it should be what you want the book to be. But assuming we find sort of a space where we're both in agreement, um, my sense is that as you move to submit the proposal, as we get reviews, as you start to write the chapters, you should imagine that you're having a conversation with the series and that you're not sort of cast off on your own to write for two years and submit a manuscript and hope, you know, that somehow you've magically intuited everything that the series might want you to do. Um, I'm happy to read chapters. I'm happy to chat with you on the phone throughout. I'm happy to connect you with board members who might have insights that I don't have and might have methods that you might find useful. Um, as I said, the whole goal is to reduce the anxiety and increase the sort of fun and intellectual joy of writing a book, which gets lost sometimes, I think, and I would like to see it be central to SWR. So when to contact an editor, I think when you have a book idea but not a full proposal. Um, when to contact me would be at that moment, and you should feel free to contact me throughout. Um, so I think that, that would be my advice to you, and um, I hope we get a lot of proposals, so please send your proposal in. Thank you.